So good evening. Tonight, um, my name is Dr. Presley Rankin. I work in the School of Applied Leadership. And tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about basic HTML for Blackboard. Um, what we're going to do is not try to go into a hugely technical side of things, but to go over the basics that you would need to know in order to do a little bit of back-end editing on Blackboard to resolve problems like that one pesky dot that's at the bottom of your post or spacing issues or the picture not showing up where you want it to show up. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that you can do to kind of investigate that. And then, of course, if you're really interested, there are tons of videos online that can help with that search um, to find different ways to make HTML work for you. So what is HTML? HTML is a computer language made for websites, basically. Everything you see on a website is governed by HTML. The language consists of little tags that are enclosed in brackets. You can see the little example there with the word tag. For every tag, you also have a closing tag with a slash. So you have the slash tag. That ends the instruction. So the initial tag starts the instruction. The following tag ends the instructions. The starting tag turns on the function. So if you're using a um, tag B um, as your um, function, then that's going to make that word bold. If you use a slash B, then that word is not going to be bold, and the rest of the words in the sentence will be unbolded. So you have that choice to either be bold or not bold. And the tags themselves can have a different kinds of things. As long as they're within the brackets, those things called attributes will modify whatever the tag is and kind of basically help add information. So you have the font tag, which tells the um, computer what font to use. And typically, the, the, the code that goes with it is face. So you have font face equals century gothic and the name is in quote marks that's how the computer reads what it's supposed to do but you can also add more to the font tag you can also make the font a color so in this situation you see we're call we're asking the font to be century gothic but we're also telling it to be red so that is a um a color option that you can choose with it to access Blackboard HTML in Blackboard, there's a little HTML button over here to the side. You can see it on this arrow here. Let me activate my pointer so you can see right here, HTML. There's also a CSS button that is cascading styles. And that's something that's a bit more complicated that you really don't want to get involved in. Um, Blackboard has its own set of cascading styles. And Really, um, it's overly complicated than what you need to just get the basic stuff done that you need to get done. So the HTML button would be the one that you use if you run into trouble using the normal Blackboard tools, which you have here, like bold or um, italics, um, paragraph, font size, font name, font size, etc. All of these buttons that you press in Blackboard are actually adding HTML to the back end so that it can create the whatever you're doing, you're posting. So you can also make other changes to the fonts. You could change the size by adding size and equals a number. Number one is the smallest, number seven is the largest. You can make the font... Um, small or big, and you see how you can separate it as long as you have the ending font 